Hey guys, welcome back. This is Candy with Sweet, Sweet Creek Thrift and today I am bringing you my sales as a part-time reseller um, from June 1st and I'm going to go actually do through June 16th instead of the 15th um, just because of how many sales and I already had I think quite a few just for the 16th and 17th. So I'm just going to include the 16th and get some of those out of the way and then at the end of the month I'll bring you the 17th to the end of June along with my total for the end of the month. Um, so if you're new here, welcome. And I am just gonna break down to you, with you guys like what sold, how much it sold for, like where I got it, how much I paid for it, etc. Just like the life of a reseller and kind of like bring you through the sales that I've had so far. Um, so my first item is this Calvin Klein spring green women's short sleeve shirt satin trim size extra small there's the tag oops there's the tag oh i'm gonna minimize my save <laughs> so you can see it and there's a little cute little pocket but it has this like satin trim along the shoulders um like right here and then along the neckline and then the little pocket it was like a different material um so it was really cute um you know just a nice basic green shirt for the summer and so this actually came from the original donation which is why I, I probably wouldn't have bought this had I seen it in a store um, especially being an extra small but since it was a donated item I paid zero so I've had it for a long time I've I did post it to Poshmark on March 1st of 2022 and then I did take new photos and then I relisted it on Poshmark and I also listed it onto eBay for the first time and I did that on February 13th of this year 2024 and it sold on eBay on June 6th for a purchase price of four dollars so um I'm not losing anything I did still make three dollars and seventy cents so I'm glad I held on to it but like I said, I wouldn't buy this item in the store because you're really not going to get much for it. So that was just one of those ones that, you know, when you have something around the house and you list it, even though you know you're not going to make very much for it, as long as you're not going in the, into the negative, which I try not to do. Uh, but anyways, and then the very next item is probably the best sale of the beginning of this month. So let me pull that up. And if you remember... Um, my haul from Goodwill several weeks back. I did find this at a Goodwill and it was new with tags and it's this Free People Oasis Midi dress. It was a cotton gauze peasant romantic. I put feminine navy blue medium and there it is. That's my item and it had this tag right here. I can't believe I found it at the store with a tag. New with tags was amazing. It's like, who buys this and then just donates it? It's crazy. Um, maybe they just buy it online and then it doesn't fit them right or they go with some other um, dress for an event. I'm just, I don't know. Like, I just don't get it. But anyways, um, yeah, it was really cute. It was just definitely very, very summery, very in style right now. And... I did have somebody reach out and ask me about like just some like the, the color really. She said there was two blues and she wanted to know which blue it was. It was interesting. Um, but anyways, I had posted it for about 107 um, originally. And so I posted this. Let's see. I bought it at Goodwill on May 25th and I paid $7.99 to buy it. I posted it May 30th to Poshmark and eBay and it sold on eBay on June 4th. So it was a really quick flip. And the purchase price was $75, so my profit came out at $54.63. And so I am starting to pick up things that I know will probably sell, which is really great. Um, this next item is a Rusty brand uh, button-up short sleeve shirt, men's size large. And it's this black with white, kind of like a pinstripe. I put vintage 90s on it. I'm pretty sure it is, but I think the people that follow this brand know. And it, this was like an uh, embroidery right here. And there was a little like multiple spots that had the branding, as you can see here. And then the back was just um, pretty much the same thing. 
and yeah, and then there's the tag. So this item I actually found at the Goodwill bins when I went at the end of December to Waco. Um, and I my average cost of goods that day was a dollar per item, so that was a dollar. Um, I posted it on January 6th to Poshmark and eBay, and it sold on eBay June 4th, and somebody just didn't even offer, well, I don't think I have offers on, but if I see likes, I send out offers. Um, but I don't want people just to randomly send me offers like on Poshmark. So I just kind of like keep eBay a little bit different. Um, so anyways, it was a purchase price of $20. They just paid the, that was how much I had it for and they just paid it and bought it. And so my profit came out at $15.12 for that one. The next item is a Lauren Ralph Lauren Active Women's Polo. Uh, top shirt, I put shirt, top, black and blue, striped, stretch, M, medium. And I've had this one for a very long time. I want to say this was also from the original donation, but I will double check. Why do I have an M on medium when it says extra small? How interesting. I don't know why that M is there. I think I was writing something else, but then I put a question. <laughs> Let me see what I said. Now I'm curious. Um, measurements are approximate only, the wash tag, uh, let's see, I don't see, hopefully the person realized that, let me see what I wrote on here, oh, I did mark it as extra small on here too, in the item specific, so I think it's alright, I think I just, I don't know what I was writing here, sometimes I, I catch that, I make like a little typo, I did on the last one too, I'll have to be extra paranoid for a while. So this one I got from the original donation. So I had paid zero for it and I posted it in March of 2022 to Poshmark. And then again, just like that other item, I reshared it, um, took new photos and reshared it again, added it to eBay. And that was on January 23rd of this year. So it sold on eBay on June 5th and it sold for $10 and that made my profit seven dollars and fifty eight cents and then the next item is a victoria's secret bikini top it is a uh, swim i put swim 34a and i put summer paisley floral pink yellow push-up um and here i'll show you the photos and this was on poshmark and these are how i used to take photos on the floor with the uh the blanket behind them the white blanket and I started hanging up most items now, if I can anyways. I still have the blankets and I might occasionally use it. Um, and I did find a um, picture of it on a body, so I did use that at the end of my listing. Um, just so that people, if, they, if they're interested, then they scroll through and then they would see it at the end. Um, and it was called the Angel Swim Push-Up Bikini, so I thought that was interesting. Um, it was also from the donation, so again, I paid zero. I don't know that I would pick it up, or, unless maybe it was at the bins, I might. Um, I just don't think I would buy it if I was at a Goodwill retail or a thrift store retail. Um, I guess depending on the price. It was like a dollar maybe. Um, so I posted it to Poshmark May 30th of 2023, and then I... Uh, basically reposted it on Poshmark and at the same time I would have shared it to eBay and oh no I just um hold on let me undo that one I accidentally pressed the zero <laughs> okay and then I re um or I added it to eBay on June 3rd so when I do when I did add it to eBay I would have reshared it on Poshmark also so anyways it sold on Poshmark on June 8th so it just required a refresher um, it made it look like it was a new item and that got more eyes on it and it sold for $16 which is what I had posted it for and that made my profit $12.80 and the next item is actually from Depop and I had this item posted um, and I'll, I'll go through it but this was a Toltex Preppy Golf I put Golf Bear Grandma Core Puff Short Sleeve Embroidered Women's Size Large and it had this really cute like bear embroidery on it. It was so, so cute. And then along the collar had this like red stitching. And I just thought that was so super cute and super fun. But as you can see, there was some minor staining going on. Um, I did take some pretty good pictures just to show people, hey, there is some, 
you know, some stains that wouldn't come out essentially. Um, so this was purchased from the Goodwill bins also at the end of December, which means my average cost was a dollar. So I paid a dollar for it. I posted it to Poshmark and eBay and Depop on January 31st of this year, 2024. And then it sold June 11th on Depop and I had sent an offer and it sold for $35. I think I sent an offer and then she waited a few days, that offer expired. And then she sent back the same offer that I had sent to her and then I accepted it. I think that's what happened if I, if I remember, remember that one correctly. Um, so that actually gave me a net profit of $20.71. The next item is the Limited. It's a merino wool blend. And I put blue purple because honestly I couldn't really tell. Sometimes it looked blue and sometimes it looked purple. So I just put blue purple, short sleeve, sweater, shirt, size, medium. And it was just this really thin, kind of like a cap sleeve, but it was like, as you can see there, um, short sleeve and just a really thin sweater material, but it was a thin sweater material and it was merino wool blend. So yeah, as you can see here, it was 50% acrylic, 50% wool. So not the best, but still, still something. Um, and that one came from the donated pile. So again, I had paid zero. Oops, yeah, I am on the right one. I thought I was on the wrong line. Um, so I paid zero. So this was posted April of 2023 to Poshmark. And then I, again, took new photos, reshared it on May 13th of this year, 2024, which led it to be sold on eBay on June 11th for $16. And that made my profit $12.66. The next item is an Old Navy Rockstar Mid-Rise Teal Blue Jeans, women's size 8. And there's the Rockstar and the Mid-Rise. Um, and these are just kind of like a skinny straight leg. Um, more skinny, I guess you would say. And then this was from the, do from the donation. So again, I wouldn't pick this up at the store. I don't even think I would pick it up at the bins, but I mean, just because it's heavier, so I probably wouldn't pick it up at the bins either. But anyways, I posted it in uh, April of 2022 to Poshmark, so it was on Poshmark for a really long time. I took new photos, reposted it on eBay January 29th, and it sold on eBay on June 11th, and it sold for $7. <laughs> so that was just another one of those items, but you know what? I'm so happy because these items are actually getting out of my closet and that leaves me a little bit of income and a little bit more to invest in better quality items now that I'm learning um, as I go. So if you're new here, please consider hitting subscribe if you wanna follow my journey because even though I've been reselling for quite a few years, I didn't really take it as seriously as I am now until about a year ago and I started really starting to kind of pay more attention and then I would actually go out and um, start buying stuff a little bit about this time last year. So it's been a journey and I am learning and I am working on increasing my sales every month. And my main goal right now is just to really learn um, what will sell and what will sell for a higher value like cost. And so I'm getting there. Um, so if you're interested in that, please consider subscribing if you're new. Um, just to kind of follow along and see how I do each month. And so my net profit for those jeans was $4.93. My next item is this Lauren Michelle white floral embroidered cotton gauze black tunic shirt size 1X. And it had just like casual, like a three quarter, like a half sleeve or a, well, was this long sleeve? I want to say it was like a three-quarter sleeve, but it looks like it was a long sleeve, actually. And it's just this, like, gauze material. I know that's super popular in the season that we're in right now. And so this one I actually purchased in a thrift store up in Dallas. And I purchased it May 4th for $3. And it's so, uh, sorry, I posted it on... Poshmark and on eBay on May 6th. So I just posted it a couple days after I bought it. It sold June 13th on eBay and it sold for $24. So that's just one of those um, one of those shirts that I've more recently bought. And 
I'm um, not to say that the the brand Lauren Michelle is anything because I've never really seen a lot of, and I don't think it's the brand that sold this item. I think it's the style that sold the item and the season that we're in. Um, I did sell another another shirt that I had picked up at the bins, and it was somewhat similar to that one. It had some like embroidery on it, and it was kind of like a, a lightweight gauzy material too. And it's all pretty quick, so I kind of had this feeling that this one might sell. So when I'd seen it in the store, I went ahead and grabbed it because it was in May and it was the beginning of May, so we were still kind of going up into summer, and it was the perfect time to get one of those items listed. So I did make a profit of sixteen dollars and sixty-four cents on that item. My next item is a Lane Bryant Swim by Cacique half zip top 26, size 26 rash guard, and I put black green tropical. And as you can see, it's just this like, it almost looks like a t-shirt and kind of like a swim, um, like a scuba swim style, I guess you could say. Um, I actually thought that the zipper went on the back, but when I started looking at photos online, there was models that have it on the front. So I just thought that was interesting that it was a front zip, but um, either way, I also, this was another one of those items where I recently sold. It wasn't by Cacique, but it was a, um, I think it was Swimsuits for All and it was the similar like t-shirt looking swimsuit top and it sold really quick and it was a plus size so i knew when i saw the plus size i just had this feeling it was going to sell really quick and it did so this one i picked up at goodwill on june 1st and it was four dollars and 29 cents when i bought it i posted it on june 10th to poshmark on ebay and it sold on ebay on june 14th for $34 so you guys don't sit on those <laughs> plus size swim top with the you know that swim material and if it's plus size I promise you it will probably sell quickly <laughs> and so I made a profit of $23.72 the next item is this Banana Republic mid-rise straight leg distress blue jeans size 29 P or petite and I'll show you what they look like. These I've also had for a very long time, and I wanna say this was from the donation, so I'll go look in a minute. Um, but I did take new photos. As you can see, it's hanging up, and so I recently went back. Um, I know I just did this in like not too long ago. Um, it, so let's go look. So it was from the donation, so I paid zero. I posted it on Poshmark July 18th of 2022, so it was a really long time ago. And then I posted it on eBay March 28th of 24, so it was a few months ago. So I did post it on eBay, and then I reshared it to Poshmark. It sold on eBay on June 12th, and it sold for $14 um, as a purchase price, which made my profit $10.43. The next item is a pair of Bandolino, and it was this Amy... Um, Let's see, there's the tag. If you've not seen these tags, Bandolino, size 12, and then it had this tag saying Amy on it, so I guess it's just the style, um, the Amy style. <laughs> Anyways, it's a brown tan high rise trouser pant women's size 12. So I just put trouser pants because they kind of look like they would be great for an office, more casual, like a business casual, um, where you don't wanna wear jeans, but you don't wanna wear <laughs> a dress you know so I figured it would sell and it did um, but I did have these for really for a while so this was also from the donation so I had paid zero um, let's see I posted it on May 16th 2022 and it sold April 3rd oh sorry not sold I posted it to Poshmark in 22 I posted it to eBay April 3rd of 24 and it sold on June 16th on Poshmark so I would have reshared it again on Poshmark with the new photos and it sold for $16, so I think getting the new photos, because before I had it on the blanket and I had it laid flat on the ground and then I took pictures like that, I think getting it hung up, it just makes it look more professional in my mind. So I personally think that um, by taking the new photos and hanging it up on a neutral background wall has been an immense uh, like immensely different for my business. So I'm really, really happy that I decided to go ahead and do that. 
Um, my profit was $12.80. So I'm glad I held on to these even though they weren't selling for the longest time. And they were very plain. <laughs> but I went ahead and just kept waiting and I knew the right buyer would come along. The next item is this so so brand women's sandals size large and they were both uh, the same size and the same style and they were from the donation so I just posted them together <laughs> and as you can see it has these really pretty like little jewels along the top up here and it's also like a strappy like if I were to go back now I probably would have put like strappy sandal something else with more keywords but this was one of the original listings and I obviously never went back in and updated it. Um, I don't use the word used anymore. I switched to using pre-owned. So I'll put in almost all of mine pre-owned good condition and then I try to use more keywords. And so yeah, this is just probably why it took so long to sell. But I did get it in the original donation. I posted it May 29th of 2023 last year on Poshmark. I never posted it to eBay and it sold on Poshmark June 16th uh, for $13 and that made my profit $10.05. I just realized that some of these don't have the uh, dollar sign, so I'm gonna update that really quick. That's funny. I just like to have them all looking the same. Okay, and then I have one last sale for you, and it's kind of out of order, but that's because this person, I think, bought it, and then, well, this is on, yeah, this is on eBay. So this person bought it, and then they waited like three days to pay, so it ended up getting out of order. Um, but eventually they paid, so that's good. This is a Lululemon all tied up, and it's the backwards namaste but it's in backwards which i thought was interesting and it's kind of like a gold embossed um, spell out and black tank top size six and i just took and it was faded and i wrote down in the notes this is a faded top um so i took a picture of where is it so like i took a picture of the back is this it um maybe it's down here yeah, I took a picture showing how you can open up the back or you can tie it like this, which is what the most um, most typical is what's going to happen is somebody's going to tie it like that. And then there's, I found this, but see, you can also leave it open. So I did find these um, and I put them at the end just to kind of, so somebody can see kind of what it would look like if they were wearing it. And then I get, I did get this at Uptown Cheapskate at the bag sale this year in February. So it was February 17th that I went and did that bag sale in town. So my average cost of goods was a dollar that I had shoved into this bag. The bag was $25. Um, so my average cost of goods was a dollar per item that day. And I posted it March 25th to Poshmark and eBay. And it sold on eBay on June 16th. And it sold for $15 which made my profit $10.94. So not bad considering the bag was $25. I just made $10 in one item. So yeah, um, something that I have been working on, I'll show you guys, let me go over here. And I have started doing, um, let's close this off. Let me find it <laughs> to go up here. And I started putting together um, these two spreadsheets called inventory purchases. And so I did 2023, I went back and did my 2023s and then I started one for 2024. That way when I go and get like items at the store and I come back, I will st stack them next to my desk. And then I'm gonna go through that one by one and then I'm gonna log every single item that I bought from that receipt. Because that way I can keep tr a little bit better track and my main goal for that, here, I'll open this one up. So this is 2024. So I'll go back to February. It's kind of hard to see, but I kept the first sheet as, I just labeled the first sheet as January 1st or 1-1, and it's just a blank sheet that I can then just duplicate every time I purchase and I can move it down to the end of the line, change the date, and then I can do it that way. Um, so if you go to the bag sales, so like, let's see, that's going to be the kids one. So this would have been that Uptown Cheapskate. So I wrote Uptown Cheapskate in their address right here. 
So like at the end of the year when I'm doing my taxes and I want to get mileage, I can figure out my mileage a little bit faster. And for every item that I bought in that bag, which um, I put right here, and then I just added all the items, just like all my other spreadsheets, I have it all here. So when an item sells, I'll come over here and update, Just I'll just copy and paste so that it updates the line. So as you can see, out of this bag that I bought, I've already sold one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight items. And I earned 14, I'm not gonna say the change because it's like 1476, so it's essentially like 15. Um, so like 15, 10, eight, 35 or 34, 5, 8, 10 or 11, and then another 7, you know, $8. That's way more than $25. I spent $25 on this one bag. So that's what I'm saying. Like, that was such a good deal. I've already well earned my money back. Um, but my goal is just to say once it's all sold, or if I don't sell it and I donate it, but once it's all sold, then I can come back and just, just for my own personal sake, I can see how much I spent on the on the bag and how much profit did I actually make from that. I think it's just going to be a really good learning tool for me as I move forward in my business. I just like to see the numbers and the stats and things like that. So that's why I decided to create that that sh uh, these sheets. I guess you could say it. <laughs> this inventory purchases, um, but I do like to keep track of stuff, and I can always go back and be like, oh yeah, I remember I bought that. And I can go back and figure out where I bought it at and stuff. Anyways, I think it's a good option. I'm tired. I got up this morning and took my daughter to work. Um, she had to work at 8 this morning, and it's Saturday. So I didn't have to work, but I had to get up to take her to work. Um, and then since I was already up, and it was going to be hot because I live in Texas. And it was going to be really hot, but we really, really need to get our property mode because we have two and a half acres. And the blade wasn't. Um, the blade was broken so we hadn't been mowing for a while and then we just got pounded with rain 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 and our <laughs> I had it mowed down before and then we just kept getting a bunch of rain and my husband's like don't don't drive the lawnmower and then I waited well I finally got the blade on um, I want to say like several days back but I hadn't had a chance because I've been working all week so he did a little bit of mowing yesterday and then this morning I was up and I'm like I'm gonna go mow I think I mowed for like two and a half hours or three hours and I've only got maybe half the property done I really want to get someday one of those like bigger lawn mowers that have like the um I don't know you sit on them and they're like a lot wider um, they're a lot more expensive to buy though, so I do have a riding lawnmower, luckily. <laughs> but it, uh, it's a Husqvarna and it's just, you know, I think the deck's like 42 inches. But it does the job, it's just, um, yeah, it takes, it takes time. Let's just put it that way. It takes time, especially when it was so tall. The grass was like at least knee high, if not higher than knee high in certain areas. Plus it grows weeds and the weeds here are like bushes practically. So I was literally like plowing through like bushes and it was crazy. Um, but yeah, we're going to get there. I'm going to get the rest of it mowed today and tomorrow. Um, and then hopefully be able to maintain it this time now that we've got it cut down again. Um, and I'm sure my husband will be back out later um, helping me helping me finish up the rest of it because we still have a whole section tons of sections to do. It's a process. Anyways, I'm tired. So I did that. I took a little break and I ate and then I decided to go ahead and get on here and film this. So I'm going to get this uploaded tonight and then you'll probably see that Saturday night or Sunday if you get on right away or later. Um, but anyways, like I said, if you're new here, um, I would love it if you would hit the like button and sub subscribe. It just helps me. I'm trying to build up my channel. I'm trying to, um, of course, get to that elusive thousand subscribers um, so that you can start monetizing your channel, which is really nice. Um, but yeah, I just, for, for the most part, I just love going back and watching videos that I, I can see my own progression. And I do that with my um, gardening, although I really have not been gardening much at all this year. In fact, what I did do, I kind of let it go for the most part. So I have a gardening channel, but I just, I haven't really felt like gardening and it's, it's just been, 
I think I've just kind of burned out, but I still want to garden. But there's like multiple factors that prevented a lot of it from happening this year. So it is what it is. I'm probably going to redo that channel or like work on that channel again later. But what I love what I'm what I'm bringing that up for with my gardening is that I took I did a lot of garden tours when I first started gardening because we've lived here now for five years. And so when I first started gardening, I did a bunch of garden tour videos like the first year and then the second year and then the third year. And it was so neat that I can actually go back and remember like what it was like back then. So that's kind of like where I'm going with this. Like I love keeping track of like my business and like it motivates me to do it. It motivates me to keep going. And all of the spreadsheets and all of it, it just really motivates me. I just love seeing myself progress from like, I'm in phase here and I go to this phase and then to this phase. And I'm, I just love that. I love it. It's just, I think it's just my thing. I love, I love business. I'm always like looking at businessy stuff. I'm always reading articles. I'm watching tons of YouTube ch um, channels that I like. I'm always learning. Um, so yeah, it's just fun. But anyways, like I said, for this channel, I'm just going to keep going. A lot of it's going to be like thrift hauls, just of stuff that's going to be posted for sale. So like after I go to Goodwill, I take a video and show you what I bought that I'm going to be posting for sale. And then you'll see these videos, which is like the sales reports essentially of what sold and how much it sold for. And then the month ends um, will come up at the end, the second half of the month. So, and then if I start to get too many of these, then I'll have to break it up into like weekly videos. But for now, I don't have that many sales. So for now, I'm just doing um, twice a month. So yeah. Anyways, like I said, I'm, I'm like long winding this out. So I'm going to go. I'm going to let you guys go. And I hope you guys have a good rest of your weekend and or day if you see this some other day. But thank you so much for spending the time with me and I look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye!